Funko, I don't know if I'll ever forgive you for this. You've made some bad calls in the past, like putting Marvel and Star Wars pops on springy little bobbleheads instead of making them vinyl figures. You put Star Wars pops on these platform things, even though I know it's not entirely your fault, probably maybe, because Star Wars probably had a hand in it and made you do it. You also didn't give us the Black Widow final suit endgame pop Funko figure that we all deserve. But this, this last thing that I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> What is good everyone? Hey, hi, how you darn Spoon here, and this is a Mondo poster tube. If you haven't heard of Mondo, they are a high-end collectibles company that specializes in beautiful pieces, or posters, vinyl, soundtracks, toys, pins, mugs, and other great things that nerdy people like me would love. In this tube might be the last thing that I ever get from Mondo with like S tier, maxed out quality. I pre-ordered it about seven months ago and these bad boys just arrived. Let's get them up. First thing I gotta do is store three of these posters to create the space for these three posters. Duh. On June 13th of last year, Mondo was acquired by Funko. On March 24th of this year, 2023, Funko let go of a bunch of Mondo senior staff, including the founders of the company. Artists and superfans who are loyal to Mondo got really, really upset, including beloved hobbit Elijah Wood. It seemed like Mondo was no more, so we all just kind of grieved. That is, until Funko CEO Brian Mariotti, it's a villain-ass name if I ever saw one, decided to drop a statement using Mondo's logo and everyone lost their butts. Now, I admit, I read this statement with naive eyes. Uh, I, I think I'm a little too optimistic, but I started to talk to a bunch of my collector friends, took in other people's thoughts about the whole situation, and the whole statement reads like a massive, we wanted to make money, this is how we want to do it. We didn't agree with what the founders wanted, so we let them go. He goes on to talk about, hypocritically by the way, how the Mondo posters were too limited for fans and how people would just buy all the exclusives and resell them on the market as soon as they're sold out. I'd do a deep dive into this, but the homie Jeans version on Instagram sent me this bomb ass thread that breaks everything down perfectly by Danny Danger on Twitter, AKA Tiny Media Empire. I'll leave that link in the description. Now that the other three posters are in storage, it is time to take the new ones out. Oh, it's like nice and secure because there's three posters in here. At least there should be. Cut this tape off carefully. I'm always nervous of this part. I trust myself, but I don't trust myself. Oh. oh, I can see a corner of a poster already. It looks so good. Look at it. So sick. <laughs> look, 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 look. <sighs> came with each of the Peters front and center. Like how this one has Peter 3 in the front. The goal now is to line it up uh, next to each other like a triptych using the order that the Peters are in here. So we're gonna have Tom Holland in the middle. That's Peter 1. Peter 2, Tobey Maguire is gonna be on the left and then Peter 3, Andrew Garfield will be on the right. The most disappointing part for me was how much I love Funko as a brand. I mean, look at the shelves behind me. Them buying Mondo was really, really exciting for me. I was really hoping that they would just help them excel, but after everything that's happened, I feel kind of betrayed. I know layoffs have been happening around in every industry, but this feels extra icky to me. Buying out Mondo just to get rid of their leaders and founders who made it what is slash was. The people who brought so many eyes to so many incredible artists that we wouldn't have seen otherwise, like Matt Taylor and Martin Anson. Two artists, by the way, who are pretty much my entire collection. 
This move feels like it was absolutely driven by greed and wanting to make more money for Funko, the brand, not Mondo. But I'd be lying to say that there was nothing to be excited about. In this statement, they said that they'd branch out the posters into the anime world and I would love to see that happen. I'd love to see those anime posters done by the same artists that I've grown to love because of Mondo, but who knows if that's gonna happen because they are also loyal to the founders. I guess we're gonna find out how much Funko's dollar is worth in the near future. My hope is that the founders of Mondo and the senior staff that were let go would just go and form their own company and do their own fine art thing again. I would absolutely go follow them. I know that the artists that worked with them before totally would, and the community would back them up so fast. That would be incredible. Funko, do better, man. Thank you so much for watching me rant about my favorite movie poster company. If you made it this far, throw Mondo Forever in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Spoon. I love you. I appreciate you. Stay spicy. Goodbye.